all right welcome back my friends so today we're coming to an end of this adventure through this humongous box of 20 pounds of jewelry from shop goodwill that i picked up at my local um goodwill warehouse so what do we, what do we have left is a bag of bracelets so let's go through them and at the end i will update you on the appraisal i received on the cinnabar jewelry set that i also found in this box i'll leave a link so you can see it. that box that i got was 200 dollars, and so far um it's been i believe four or five videos i think it's a video number five that we're doing on this box and it's paid it's paid for itself probably a few times over okay so let's see what we get in regards of bracelets all right i am gonna right away set aside all um this bangles i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with them most likely gonna put them in craft because majority of them are like see this yellow one's a scrape this one's not bad this one's not bad yeah we'll we'll i'll just put them right here aside and then we'll take a look at them okay so first i see is this beautiful gold tone cuff cuff bracelet it's in a pretty good condition let me see what it is measures i would say um seven and a half inches okay it's beautiful i'll wear it for now okay next next is a gold tone bracelet fold over clasp I don't see any signs. Um, it's missing a chain, I believe a safety chain, but I, I think I have a chain that I can put it here because it's not in a bad condition. It's in okay condition. I wouldn't say it's new, but it's in, it's in a pretty good condition. Good. Next, I have this pink and gold tone bracelet really good condition with this beautiful bow it looks like all the crystals are here cute next i have a leather bracelet with initials or is it like um jwb yeah it's gonna be hard to sell this um especially that it has some wear it's not in a bad condition but it, it, it is hard to sell something like this that's personalized okay let me get more bingles out of the way more bingles um this one is a cute bracelet silver tone it, it's pretty tough crystals rhinestone crystals it's not in a bad condition it's actually pretty good condition no signs no stamps not bad okay silver tone with different color cabochons uh, we can test them whether they are plastic or glass Using my Presidium at any chance I get. I love playing with it. Love, love, love playing with it. Okay, let's wait till it's warm up. I'll show it to you closer. Silver tone, really good condition. Fold over clasp. I do not see any maker's mark or any stamps otherwise there is flowers look to oh the right here um i believe right here now after looking closer there there are no rhinestones here they're just enamel but it's peeling off 
let me see if what do we have here no those are just plastic yeah those are just plastic cabochons so it's not in it's in a pretty good condition okay all right next one would be kings bracelet and there's a hockey sticks here so i would assume this is for los angeles kings hockey team yeah <laughs> this is a fan bracelet for los angeles kings all right next one is a gold tone gold tone is wearing off a little bit in the back really beautiful bracelet with etchings hmm, interesting different design and every single link again it's missing a safety chain let's see how it opens up oh okay like this it's kind of a hidden clasp i do have a chain so i can fix it it's actually beautiful i don't see any maker's mark i'm not sure it's in a good condition to sell but i yeah probably gonna have to put it in the, in the craft slot yeah let me see yeah i don't see any maker marks or anything yeah okay what do we have here oh i think we have ourselves brighton bracelet wow this is kind of a nautical nautical theme fish starfish shells mother pearl looks like chewing gum <laughs> anchor all in good condition really good condition um brighton lock closure brighton closure and brighton's heart with the with a bee what else do we have a pearl um it's a real pearl freshwater pearl crab crab has all the rhinestones wow beautiful silver tone uh, nautical theme um brighton bracelet cool really good condition okay next is um looks like a handmade bracelet with this plastic cabochons probably craft lot um next is a stretch bracelet with this heavy beads i don't know what they made of they're, they're pretty heavy they have quite a wear on them but yep i'm probably going to be putting it in the craft lot this is a um, gold tone bracelet with the faux tortoise um, beads no maker mark I believe yep nothing black and clear black and clear rhinestones bracelet on the memory wire um, ends uh, with finished ends okay this one we've seen before a bunch of bingles together it's like this you know not bad looks pretty good looks kind of funky i like it okay it measures let me see it is eight inches eight inches circumference yeah i kind of love it i'm not I usually don't wear bracelets but I actually I actually like those I'll put this one here okay 
just while I'm filming. I kind of like it how they're like crisscrossing. That's pretty cool. All right, next one is um I don't know what it's oh oh it's kind of stretchy. It's a magnetic closure. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of um wire. Very soft, very sleek. Yeah, it is seven inches circumference. Okay, another bingo stretchy bracelet with red rhinestones. Um, four kind of a winter Christmassy stretchy bracelets with snowman on them, plastic beads. A little more bangles that I will be will look through at the end. I'll put them separately. Seed bead bracelet, pretty heavy because I think these are metal seed beads on the button closure i'll have to put it in the craft lot because the seed beads are coming undone maybe someone can repurpose those um faux leather wrap around bracelet also craft Four strand bracelet with four pearls, silver tone. This is probably White House. Yeah, White House Black Market. Not in a bad condition. It's actually, it, actually, it's in a good condition. I can put in one of my lots that I have. Uh, wearable jewelry. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. This is also probably homemade, handmade um, bracelet on the cord with the piece signed and um, cords. Next is the silver goldish tone bracelet with a lot of blue bead and blue crystal dinglies. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, the stretch is stretch is okay you know um it's a little little bit tiny bit stretched out but it's not too bad okay. nice let's see what it measures it measures as of right now it measures eight inches next one as i can see is another brighton wow that's pretty cool this is still kind of a topaz color um Smoky quartz color stone cabochon, olive green robes, and here's a Brighton closure, Brighton hard um, on a lobster claw closure, and Brighton um, tag with a B on it. Let me see if it's anything. Let's just, it's really beautiful. Oh. Logan's Logan's hair on it, my dog. That's beautiful. This side is gorgeous. Yeah, this is a really cute bracelet. And it's the second Brighton. Where's my first Brighton? This is my first Brighton. This is my second Brighton out of this bag. That's pretty cool. Uh, once presidium warms up, I'll let you guys know. Let's take a look. No, it's just an acrylic. Unfortunately, it's just an acrylic, but it still looks really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have next? A very stretched out bracelet that... 
with the very worn beads and gold pearls. Next is silver tone bracelet with plastic cabochons that have shimmer in them. Blue, purple, and white cabochons and a toggle closure. No signs, no marks, no stems. More bingles. I'm gonna put them aside. Stretch bracelet with red and black plastic beads. Gold tone bracelet. Is it a Disney? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, those are Disney characters. Let's see if it has a sign. Yeah, it does say Disney. It does say Disney. I don't have any other marks so far. So I assume it's just a gold tone. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's just a gold tone bracelet. Next one is a oh, stretch is really bad. I think these are wooden beads, but it goes straight to the craft. I would assume this is a religious bracelet. All right, so let's see what else we have. Very bright orange um, stretch bracelet with plastic beads and um, colored shell, I believe. Very bright, very cute. Uh, seven and a half inches, but it's stretch. Oh, very worn bracelet. It used to be silver tone at some point now it's just yuck i'm gonna put it in a craft stretch bracelets stretch a, a little bit tougher um, but not too bad white beads and silver tone spacers let me see what those white beads are These are glass beads. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Really cute bracelet. Look at this uh, white. They look a little bit like they have snow inside. Like they're ice, made of ice. Cool. All right. Next, I have gold tone uh, plastic bracelet with the real bad stretch craft. Um, another stretch bracelet with the smoky color plastic tubular beads. Oh, very beautiful lavender, very gentle pastel lavender color beads let me see no, they're acrylic acrylic beads uh, some of them very clear some of them like cat's eye and some have silver foiling inside um, with finish ends on both sides so um, did i say it was a memory wire yeah memory wire bracelet let me see, it's seven inches. I have silver tone with mm, 
let me test and see what those are. They go to glass. The blue ones go to glass. Black ones with the painted flowers uh, don't go anywhere. So, uh, silver tone bracelet with uh, glass blue beads. And these black ones remind me of Russian lacquer hand painted beads. Let me take a look at something. Mm, wonderful we've got ourselves a silver br bracelet right here this one is silver bracelet wonderful hmm. and so far we have a silver bracelet and two uh, br brighton bracelets right here and a bunch of dingles Okay, moving on, very light, kind of a brushed silver tone bracelet with a lot of dangling silver beads and crystal beads. They're in bad condition, very worn, so they're going to go to craft. Next is uh, White House, Black Market, how many strands do we have? Five we have five strand bracelet that reminds me a little bit of Christmas because it has this burgundy color beads and I love this gradation look at this gradation and this clear um, crystals from light to dark like it's a uh, cranberry juice in the bead <laughs> right these are for pearls but let me see if they're glass no they're not and the, this one, crystals are not, they're plastic, most likely. Silver tone, pretty new. There is no tag, but looks very new. There is no wear on it, on this bracelet. Beautiful. Next, I have a silver tone bracelet. Also, uh, looks like it's um, a religious motive, but seems like it's been broken. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it in the craft. Um, looks like White House Black Market black bead bracelet with um, darker color rhinestones, plastic. I think plastic. Let me double check. Yeah, plastic rhinestones and clear rhinestones. Stretchy bracelet. Next, I have a hinge bracelet. Silver tone magnetic closure, black enamel. Pretty good condition sits at seven inches really cute not too bad not too much wear i'll just need to give it a bath then i have a two black uh stretch um two black plastic bead a stretchy bracelet one is stretches gonzo craft this one stretches not too bad but still i'm going to put it in craft Put this away before I spill in. What do we have next? Silver tone bracelet with um, circles as a decoration that have rhinestones. I believe all the rhinestones are here. I do not see any maker's mark. Next is brushed gold tone uh, religious, I would assume religious bracelet with crucifix. Um, leather, um, I think it's a full leather cord. And this one I think is a closure so it stays in place. It sits at six and a half inches. It's in a good condition. I don't think I see any signs. Um, 
I mean, Maker's Mark, yeah, but it's in a good condition. Next is a stretchy bracelet with rhinestones, clear rhinestones. Silver tone bracelet. No Maker Marks. With this kind of a bead, silver bead design. Next is a stretchy bracelet again. Um, with a lot of jump rings on it and let's see yeah they're all acrylic um acrylic faceted beads some of them are plain blue some of them are milky blue some of them are kind of a frosted blue but they're very cute very beautiful cool bracelet All right, what do I have next? This is the blue stretchy plasticky bracelet craft. Next is, it used to be gold tone, now it's, who knows what tone, it's all wears, uh, wears off. It's, it's cool design, I really like it. Um, but there is a lot of wear right here so I'm probably um, yeah I'm gonna be putting it in the craft there is no make a mark next is a calf hinge bracelet gold tone with the um, shimmer painted leaves on top well it's a leafy bracelet that were painted uh, with shimmer over the gold tone really cute really good condition no make a mark though yeah really good condition very festive and last one is gold tone bracelet that has multiple ropes they need to be clean and i definitely will clean them because i think they're, they're they can be cleaned very well because i really like it there's minimal wear on it and i think it looks it looks really cool kind of a wrap around with toggle closure yeah i, I really like it there's minimal wear just dirty i will i will clean it cool all right so what do we have here these are all our bracelets so out of all of it like let's take a look at this first these are all the bangles that i got there are quite a few with kind of squarish form then a couple plasticky plastic ones with rhinestones there are a few this kind of wooden ones and a lot of enamel ones yellow and one blue the enamel is is really in a really bad condition so all of this is going to craft what else do we have oh i have this bracelet look at this silver tone um no it's actually light gold tone bracelet with the um hook closure and enamel panel it's a little bit beige color yellowish color very very light like i would say off white bone color enamel in a really good condition i don't see any maker mark sits at six inches and you can undo it this way and then do it this way closes this way yeah really cute then i have one bangle that is golden with pink enamel the enamel is really badly rubbing off so i'm gonna be putting this one in the craft and the rest of it too couple metal one one more clear blue color clear plastic none of them have any markings and the last bingle is brushed gold tone this one actually not too bad you know i think it's metal but it's very light this one's not too bad all right, let me take off 
this ones and I will talk to you about other things that I have. All right, here they are. These ones are also in pretty good condition. They're silver tones. So now, speaking of the bracelets, if um, out of all of this amount, I selected, I selected a few of them that has kind of a value as a couple of brightness, brightness bracelets and uh, this silver bracelet. However, there are quite a few that I will probably put in wearable lots that I have on my Etsy and Poshmark and eBay. I will clean up this one. I think it's going to clean up very well. I really like this one. I think it has um, minimal wear and I can definitely put it in a lot. Um, probably this one if it cleans up well. Um, this one I think can uh, cuff bracelet can go there too. Um, this one I am not sure. I will fix it but I will examine it closely more closely and see how much wear it has. I didn't see any signs, um, any marks or anything, so it's not a designer piece, but I mean, it's not bad. Uh, and another one, I think I will research this one more closely and see, even though there is no any marks on it, but I still want to know what it is. Um, so that would be it for the bracelets. Now, let me put it aside. I wanted to talk to you guys about some stuff. So, first and foremost, I wanted to show you these uh, brooches. So, these brooches, um, they also come from this lot, but um, I think they're from video one. I don't remember which one. Uh, we found them at the beginning uh, of going through this lot. So, these brooches were missing some elements. But I did not feel like putting them in um, craft lot because they were they ha they have value due to their name. Well, two of them, two of them for sure. So this uh, brooch was missing this center piece, and I, um, as I said, I um, talked to Mr. Stone which website I will leave and he found me exactly the piece that this was missing from this uh, brooch. So this is all fixed now and this is, um, let me show you, hold the um, maker's mark, oh, the lightning is not good, it's art. So the maker mark is art and I know they're, um, they, can, they can be quite valuable. So this one is fixed and I honestly, I think it's really, it came up really pretty, really pretty, really like it. Next one, this one doesn't have uh, much of a value, but I for some reason uh, liked it. It was missing one of the pearls. Now it's fixed also. And this one is Avanti. I think it's Avanti, Avanti, yeah, I probably butchered it, trying to pronounce it, but I, I like this brooch. And the uh, next one is this one, it was missing, um, well, this cabochon, I found it, it was in the bag, but it was also missing this one, and now it's replaced with an, um, with a crystal, a rhinestone from the same era. So, um, yeah, so now this is, this one is fixed and I really like it and it is, um, it's right here, Karu, I hope I pronounce it also correctly, this Karu, that's, those are also quite pricey, so that's why I felt like, um, and it wasn't that bad, I mean, to be honest with you, the replacing rhinestone, I think, cost me like what, all around a dollar or something uh, to replace it plus shipping so um, yeah you can also buy rhinestones from him and tell him what era your jewelry is and you can just tell him to measure it and he'll send you the rhinestone and you can replace it yourself if you can so yes this one is also fixed and ready to go I'm really excited that I was able to fix this three 
I love this color. Oh my god. I really love it. It's beautiful. Now, let me let me update you guys on Cinnabar items. So I did receive um an appraisal from Dr. Lori. It's a written appraisal. Um, I didn't print it out. I sent I sent to her the whole set. However, it's not all one set because if you can see, let me take it out. There have different uh, engra craving, uh, engravings or carvings on them. So when she looked at it, what she appraised is um, bracelet, earrings, and the brooch as a set. And this one, this is the fur clip. The, this one is, um, well, I can't figure it out because of what she said. So basically, she looked at all of it and she said um, this set, all these items date um, 1900s, very early um, 20th century. Of course, it's an Asian um, Asian market. It is a cinnabar. Um, she confirmed that, and she said basically when she appraises something, she looks at recent sales, and she said that not like this bracelet, but similar similar a kind of a cinnabar inlay bracelet was recently sold um, in Texas, I believe, in one of the um, art galleries. At an auction for two hundred seventy dollars, so I um, so she said you can go off of that. You not necessarily have to price it as two seventy because it was not an exact. Um, it was just the cinnabar bingle. Um, so now altogether, not counting the the fur clip, uh, she said roughly the brooch, the earrings, and the bracelet roughly five hundred dollars. That's what she appraised it for uh, around 500 plus this um, probably um, around another 150 so um, if anyone is interested I can um, definitely show you how appraisal looks like and I definitely didn't feel like appraising it myself I really needed to know what area it is what um, year it is and all of that um, knowledge that comes with appraising um, antique stuff. So that's really cool. Um, I'm probably gonna not gonna be listing it altogether. I'm probably gonna be listing it separately because um, the bracelet has completely different um, carvings than the earrings, a brooch, and a fur clip. They come kind of together they have similar carving floral carving and this one has a just an asian lucky charms lucky symbols i think i think it has she said it has a lucky symbol or fortune symbol um this um carving so yeah anyway so i was really happy with my appraisal so um just this bracelet like i said i paid for this whole lot uh two hundred dollars it took us guys a while to go through it but we did it we finally did it and i found a lot of cool stuff i found a lot of silver i found uh this set which is i was shocked to be honest to find this set in that box um and they actually marked that box as broken loose crafters jewelry lot i did not expect much from it as i said before so i was at the beginning i was very um concerned that i allowed myself to pay 200 dollars for that lot especially when it has um, a description of being broken jewelry uh, crafters lot i definitely did not expect to find um cinnabar in it i definitely did not expect to find Caro brooch in it and a lot of other stuff like um, uh, the other day we found coach bracelet right um, yeah it, it was amazing a lot I, I was really really happy with this lot so thank you so much for being with me on this journey and next time we'll be going through thread up my first thread up 15 piece curated jewelry box thank you guys